I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to multiply rational expressions. We have 2x square plus 5x plus 2 divided by 4x square minus 1 times 2x square plus x minus 1 divided by x square plus x minus 2. Now, to multiply the rational expressions, we first need to factor. So, let us factor them one by one. So, let us take 2x square plus 5x plus 2. Now, we are looking for product of two numbers p and q, 2 times 2 as 4, and their sum p plus q as 5. The two numbers are 4 and 1, right? So, 4 and 1 work for us, and therefore, we could write the numerator of the first term as, well, factor it completely and then write it, okay? I don't want to do directly. So, when you get these two numbers, you have to split the number in between by these two. So, we have 2x square plus 4x plus x plus 2. Now, you can combine these two terms and those two. So, we get 2x common. We have x plus 2. Here, we have 1 common, x plus 2. x plus 2 is a common factor. So, we get x plus 2 times 2x plus 1, correct? So, now we should write the numerator as equal to x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. Divide by, denominator here is 4x square minus 1. We could use difference of squares. I hope you remember a square minus b square equals to a plus b times a minus b, right? a in this case is 2x. So, we could write this as 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 times, let's factor the other one, which is 2x square plus x minus 1. Product, we are looking for minus 1 times 2, which is minus 2, and sum should be 1, right? So, so bigger number is positive, smaller one is negative. You write this as 2x square plus 2x minus x minus 1. Taking 2x common gives us x plus 1 minus common x plus 1. So, we could factor this as x plus 1 is common, right? So, we are writing x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1, correct? So you may have to review factoring skills for multiplying rational expressions, right? So, I like you to go through these steps so that your level of confidence is higher on factoring. Now, let's look into this one, which is x squared plus x minus 2. So, adding, we have to get plus 1. So, I could write this as x plus, plus 2 times minus 1, right? So, plus 2 times x minus 1 gives us the factor. Once you have the factored form, it's a good idea to write all the restrictions. So, from here, denominator cannot be equal to 0. So, we have some restrictions. x cannot be equal to minus half. This is what we get from here. And also plus half. x cannot be equal to plus half. And here we get x cannot be equal to minus 2. And from there, x cannot be equal to 1. So, the rational expression has four restrictions. 1, x cannot have minus half, plus half, minus 2 and 1. Now, we can cancel the terms which are common, the factors which are common in numerator and denominator. 2x plus 1 cancels out, x plus 2 and x plus 2. You can also do cross as we did just now, right? So, we have 2x minus 1 which could also be cancelled. So, we are left with x plus 1 in the numerator, right? And x minus 1 in the denominator. So, that becomes a simplified form of the rational expression. Don't forget to write the restrictions, which is x should not be equal to plus minus half, and it's not equals to minus 2 and 1 also. So, it has four restrictions. I am Anil Kumar, and I hope these steps help you to understand how to multiply rational expressions. So, basically, what you need to remember is first factor, and then restrict. So, that means include restrictions in your solution, right? I hope that should help. I'm Adil Kumar. You can always share 
and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.